Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, I just saw a YouTube video from <coughs> from a report from uh, a guy who was the commander, of, who is the commander of the the uh, Israeli IDF Special Forces. He's a, a general, and he made a comment that I found very enlightening, and it's how you win how you win a war against your enemy. And his words were, you don't, you don't win by killing your enemy. You win by breaking your enemy. And I went, okay. And so you look at the various wars, at least th that I've been made aware of either in reading history or in my lifetime that I fought in, in, in a war. And uh, it is absolutely true. Now, what does that mean for, uh, for Gaza? Well, uh, the Israelis are now, uh, they pretty much have uh, Rafah surrounded. In Rafah, which is the last area where the IDF or the, the Israeli military is going to attack, there are only four Hamas battalions left, left, uh, and they are pretty much holed up in Rafah. Well, how m that's each battalion has about a thousand, a thousand soldiers. So that's four thousand, four thousand Hamas troops that are pretty much surrounded. And the in the IDF, the Israeli military, is killing a whole bunch of them like every day. You know, like 50, 60, 80, you know, a day. Um, so, so Hamas cannot hold out much longer, which then goes and talks about what's going on with the so-called peace or ceasefire, not peace, ceasefire uh, uh, discussions going on in, in, uh, in Qatar or G Doha, right? And that, I that explains to me the desperate nature, the desperate nature of the world community against Israel because they don't want to have to deal with what happens if you break Hamas, you have broken them. You have Israel, a Jewish state, has once again broken an Arab, an Arab, because Palestinians are Arabs, I don't care what anybody says, broken an Arab force that has been, uh, went against them, right? And, and the Western world is struggling with, well, you know, equity and humanitarian stuff. And what about the poor Palestinian people in Gaza and so forth? My, my view on that is screw them, you know. For 70 years, they have, they have grown several generations of hate against Israel. And now they're going to, and now they're paying for it. Now, what happens after the, the, the Gaza conflict is over? What happens in the West Bank? I don't know. But so far, because Ramadan is going on, and so far uh, there hasn't been, you know, a bunch of crazy stuff happening on the West Bank. That's where the, the mosque is, the, the big gold dome mosque is. So I, I think when Hamas is broken, they're broken. Um, the rest of the Arab world is going to look at that and their Western supporters are, are what are they going to do? You know, are they going to say, let's bring back Hamas? Let's reconstitute them? I doubt it. So that's where the desperation is coming from. And, and I really like that. You don't, you don't win a war by killing your enemy. You win a war by breaking your enemy, and that's exactly what Israel has done uh, se several times now. And I got a feeling they're going to get ready to do that to Hezbollah and drive Hezbollah out of Lebanon. I, that would be the next best thing. And let Lebanon come back to be a Christian country the way it was, become the Paris of the Middle East, which it was, and, and drive the, the Muslims into the sea. You know, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. But I thought you guys would, and ladies, if you're out there, would uh, find that interesting. Don't win a war by killing your enemy. 
to win a war by breaking your enemy. So if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon when you do subscribe. And as always, <laughs> wherever you can, whenever you can, however you can, carry on.